Political editor Mike Flannery joins us now with more on what Wade said that enraged some Barack Obama backers. Mike? Well, Rob, Don Wade has become a Chicago radio institution by combining a genuinely funny sense of humor with hard-edged conservative commentary. This morning, even his co-host and wife, Roma, objected as Wade imagined aloud how Barack Obama's allegedly adoring press corps would cover it if the senator murdered his own grandmother. Barack Obama and a Secret Service agent walked on a back street in Honolulu today. The senator was making what may be the final visit with his gravely ill grandmother. She's retired bank vice president Madeline Dunham, and she was the subject of a morbid attempt at humor by morning drive time host Don Wade, as wife Roma objected. WLSAM 890's Wade claims reporters would let Obama get away with almost anything even if they were shown videotape of the senator suffocating his own grandmother. And the video clearly shows grandmother greeting Barack Obama coming through the door. Barack Obama comes over, sits down beside the grandmother, and places a pillow over her face. And holds oh, the pillow over her God. face. Holds the pillow over her face oh, until she struggles no more. Shortly after that segment aired, some listeners began complaining. Typical of comments to CBS 2 News was this email. Don Wade of WLS Talk Radio crossed the line this morning, describing an insensitive and coded hate scenario where Obama goes to Hawaii and murders his grandmother. It was appalling, disturbing, ugly, and over the top. 890 AM's general manager said he had not heard the segment. Wade himself seemed to backpedal a few minutes later. I tried to come up with the most horrible thing I could and thought, now how, how in the world will all the media sycophants explain that? Well, regular listeners to Don Wade know that he's used to running full tilt right up to the edge, right up to the line. You can judge for yourself whether he stepped over the line this time. 